Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another career mode episode on the channel today. We've got two races for you on this video. A couple of shorter racetracks. We got Dover and then we've got Martinsville for the night race. So here we go into this one. Qualified 18th, gonna be starting 17th. We got at least one driver going to the rear. Uh, Bubba Wallace and Martin Tricks Jr. are dropping in the back here. So yeah, we'll see how this is gonna go. I have high hopes for this race. now. Again, after the last video, we had two seventh place finishes, uh, one at Richmond, one at Talladega, and we won Bristol in the video before that. So we have three straight top tens, three straight top sevens. We moved up to 10th in the point standings. So let's see what we can do here today with a decent qualifying effort like we had and a couple of shorter race jacks. I think that's going to play into our wheelhouse. Of course, the playoff race at Martinsville last season, we finished second. So who knows if we get a late race caution there, we might be able to contend for a win and get through the shifts really nicely on the start. I mean, look at all the spots we just gained on the opening lap here. We only got eight laps in stage one, so we gotta go. If we're gonna wanna get stage points, we've gotta go. We're already up to 11, look at that. Gained six spots and a half a lap. Oh, Denny's blocking me there. And the three wide. And we have not DNF'd in the first 10 races, by the way. We came close to Talladega. We did get involved in the big one when our right front blew at the end of stage two. Uh, we miraculously willed that car to a top 10 finish, so that was pretty cool. And we do have long run speed, so let's see how that might play out for us. I think Brad Keselowski's leading up there. Yeah, if we can get stage points in both stages in this one, that would be huge. I'm a little tight on corner exit. Like it rolls into the corner really well, but it is really, really tight on the exit. Doesn't matter what lane I run either. I'm trying to run the bottom more often than not, but there we go. We got run underneath Boyer. Oh, overdrove it. Overdrove it. Had to get on the brakes a little bit. Have to watch, see if Truex comes through the field. He has been on a hot streak, let me tell you guys. I think he's finished in the top 10 in the last like five races, but not only that, he's got three wins this season. Like He is just the guy to beat for the championship right now. And I don't see him losing the regular season title. He is like 50 points ahead of Hamlin. I don't even know if Hamlin's still in second. Because Hamlin DNF'd at Talladega. We're already in 10th. And we were running no worse than 11. Chase Elliott's starting to cut through the field. I love that Mountain Dew paint scheme on Elliott. Come on, get a run, get a run, get a run. Oh, didn't mean to make contact with you there, Ryan. Wanted to side draft him like I did going into three. Ah, oh, I couldn't clear him. Side drafted me right back. Come on. Drag race, two to go. For another stage point, we're up to ninth. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, Hamlin's leading the race, but if we finish ninth in stage one, that's awesome. I don't think we've scored stage points in stage one all season, so that'd be awesome. A little team that could. By the way, we have 95 on the engine power 90 on the arrow, 85 on the suspension entering this race. So our car is maxed out. You are seeing the speed. Oh, no, I lost the corner. Come on, come on, come on. Jones is under me. I don't want him to pass me here. Last lap of the stage. Going to lose a point. Dang it. Tenth. We're still going to get one stage point. First time this year we've scored uh, stage points in stage one. Man, Jones came out of nowhere. I didn't even realize he was... In the vicinity, I was thinking Boyer, Blaney, and Elliott were still back there. But good for Eric Jones. Denny Hamlin wins stage one. Now you're going to see some pit stops. Uh, we'll throw 5% more tape on it. Why not? Four tires. Let's go. Lost a spot, so we'll restart 11. See if we can get more stage points this time around. We're on the bottom. We had a good initial start. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, we're gonna get a good restart here. Look at this. Look at that restart. I mean, we're going for third place already. 
Heck of a restart. Already up to third. <laughs> Let's go. Ryan Newman just kind of followed us into the corner. Come on. Car's just a little on the tight side, but we're not going to be able to keep up with these guys. But if we can hold them down as long as we can, that'd be awesome. Now, this is a big, bad racetrack. Well, it's not big, but it... The, mon the name Monster Mile. <laughs> it's a monstrous one mile racetrack. Oh! Almost pulled the late block on Jimmy. Yeah, that just allowed Harvick to get under me, too. That's alright. We're back to fifth. We got long run speed. And the good news is, too, with having a stellar restart, this is a longer stage. So that's only going to give us more time to get through this field. We're going to go almost the entirety of the fuel run if we actually do stay green to the end of the stage. So we got that going for us. Contact there with Bowman. Okay. Didn't make contact with him. Just aggressively side drafted him. That's all. Oh, yeah. Eric Jones is fast. And Jones. Don't be surprised if he gets shot to win this thing. Ah, tried to get back under him. Tried. Ooh. Tried to clear Newman. I'm just sliding around this track quite a bit. Oh, I got tight there. All right, get back into it. Get back into it. Back to ninth, but we're hanging on to it. Barely. This car is sliding around quite a bit, though. Ah, here comes Truex. Already up to ninth after starting at the back. That's unbelievable. I mean, he's he's probably got the fastest car in the field. I thought Jones was fast. Truex, man. Coming from the rear. So we're in 10th currently. Again, longer stage. I was pushing the car a little too hard there, so... I'm gonna back off of it just a hair, you know, let the... Let the car roll through the corner. Let the car do its work. I'm fast enough. I'll stay in the top 10 now. And we can gain spots over time. <laughs> almost, almost got into Newman there. Bowman was kind of holding him up. Ooh, we're gonna try to split them three wide. This is not gonna work. I had to lift. Oh my gosh, we're three wide. I I had to lift or we were gonna wreck. Bowman lifted. He gave Newman and I the the runs. He dropped in line behind me. He's gonna try to cross Newman over. We're gonna pass Newman off a of turn two, up to eighth. Yeah, we got a solid solid race car. Not gonna lie. Let's do it. Kurt Busch, Mark Truex Jr. up here. Yeah, Truex is fast, especially on the short runs, but again, our car just picks up, picks up speed as the run carries on. We're up to seventh. We're closing back in on Truex and Eric Jones here. Oh, oh, we get a caution. Yeah, we're staying out. We got a lot of guys pitting, but we got a lot of guys staying out too, so they're going to try to get stage points, and that's going to put a big buffer in between us and all the cars that are pitting. I hope all those guys at the rear... Yeah, we're going to we're gonna advance this real quick uh, before they all decide to pit. All right, so the top nine. The top nine cars all stayed out. If I would have just let that play out, I think we would have had a couple cars stay out. Our chances wouldn't have been as great. Let's get the stage win. Let's get that playoff point. Five laps to go. And everybody from 10th on back is on fresh tires. But Yeah, I mean, we can make it. I just really hope those guys don't cut through the field as quickly as... They're definitely capable. Oh, man, I see Jimmy going three wide up the middle. Four to go. Come on. 
We're pulling away from second. That's good. Jimmy, Jimmy's gaining the most ground of those guys on fresh tires. Oh, man, I had to lift. About slid up into the wall. Yeah, Jimmy's up to fifth already. He's two and a half seconds back. We're coming to three to go this time. But, man, if he could just pass those cars or really anybody, he's up to fourth. Come on, Keegan, hang on to it. The tires are worn out, and I'm pushing hard so I can win the stage. Get this playoff point. Maybe 11 stage points today. Ah, oh, Jimmy's up to second. We're coming to two to go this time. Jimmy's up to second. Nobody else is in the top five that's on fresh tires, by the way. So two seconds off the lead with two to go. Mathematically, he can catch me. I'm pushing hard, but... Oh, look at the car just sliding. Sliding. I didn't have to lift that time. It's going to come down to the last lap. I really got to hit my marks. Even if I have to lift a little bit more, I got to hold the bottom as best as I can. See, he still gains on me, but he didn't gain as much. So let's do that again. So we're going to win the stage on pit strategy. We had top five speed, though, when the caution came out, too. So good strategy call. We're going to win it. Uh, another couple laps, he probably would have caught me, but let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, your stage two winner, me. This is where we got our first career win last year in the Dover Spring Race on fuel mileage, so that's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, look at this team. Guys, we're doing good. We're trying to climb the points. I don't think we're going to catch Truex for the regular season title. Uh, he didn't get stage points that stage. He must have had a bad pit stop, and then obviously uh, he did not get stage points at all. Wow, he's back at 37th. What happened to Truex? Something happened there. He must have, yeah, had a terrible restart, terrible pit stop. All right, yeah, we're going to pit four tires. I wonder if everybody else might go fuel only because they just pitted for tires. I guess we'll see when uh, everything cycles through here. We'll add 5% more tape. And we'll restart in third. So we lost two spots on pit road. We still have some slower cars up here that might work as buffers, so... We'll see. If we get a good enough of a restart, we know Hamlin's fast. He's led a lot of laps. Come on, come on. Three wide to the bottom. I couldn't beat the leader of the line there. And that allowed Hamlin to get to the lead. So of all my restarts, that was probably the worst one. But we actually lost a spot. But hey, got some slower cars back there. Just hit our marks. We'll be fine. I know I'm faster than the Kenseth, so. As long as I stayed ahead of him when we got up to speed like I did. Logano, probably going to be a little bit faster than me, but he's going to have to get around Kenseth, so. Let's see. Multiple grooves on this track. He, he'll get around him eventually, I'd have to imagine. Yeah, and I'm driving this car hard. We only got 18 to go, and we got to push. Oh, that was really bad getting into the corner there. Oh, here comes Newman. Kenseth almost got around me on the outside. I messed that corner up big time. Oh, Newman. Dang it, he shoved me straight up the track. I had to get way out of the gas. I lost so much time because of that. At least they're battling for the lead. Ugh, Joey just did the same thing. Come on, guys. There's not enough room. Be patient. Just get me the next corner. I lost an extra couple positions just because I get nudged out of the way. I might have added a little bit too much tape. It's not that bad, but it could be better. Ah, oh, Stenhouse. Gosh, darn it. That got me in the wall, too. Kenseth had nowhere to go. Oh, heavens. Come on, we're better than this. A mixture of adding too much tape onto the car, and I've gotten pushed out of the way by three people now. Not giving me any respect. Like, I'm not a rookie anymore, guys. Come on.
We've got 14 laps. Now, it's not going to smoke unless it runs to 270, but it's kind of capping out on our straightaway speed, though, now. It's like, it's fast, back to the throttle, but then about halfway down the straightaway, it's just not as fast as it was before, so. You know, a little bit too much tape there. It's good for a couple laps, and that was it. We'll see what kind of speed we've got. I think we can definitely get four straight top tens. We've had top ten speed all day. All throughout the course of the run, too. We're slowly gaining back on these guys again. We're about halfway through the tie run. Everybody was on equal tires to start the final stage here. 12 to go. Going for ninth under Logano. We got it. Yeah, he's going to try to cross us over because we're still a little too tight on center off. But we actually beat him back to the gas still. All right, there we go. Then house goes high. Yeah, we're going to go right underneath him. And we should clear him off of turn four. Look at that. Up to eighth. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. We lost a little too much time from Bush and Hamlin and those guys up in the top three. Jimmy Johnson. Probably because we got nudged out of the way a couple times. And one of the times we ended up in the wall, so... We'll see. Gonna clear Harvick off of four. We're up to seven. Ten to go. Whoop. Accidental contact there. Stay in it. Got a rookie. Oh, second year. I keep saying rookie because, you know, he's an actual rookie this year. Just like us, we're not a rookie anymore. I wish it would throw rookie stripes on if you're a rookie, no matter what car you're in. I like the older NASCAR video games. We are in sixth place. We might get a top. Well, yeah, we'll get a top five. It stays green to the end. I see us getting up to fourth at least. Uh, lap traffic's going to dictate if we're going to catch those leaders or not, I think. I think they were just a little bit too far ahead of us by the time this car started to pull itself together. Well, you know what? Now I'm looking here. We got eight to go. We're going to be short on fuel. So we're going to have pit stops at some point, too. Nobody wants to be the first car to hit pit road. You will lose time. Well, now we get a caution. Oh, my gosh, and they're all pitting. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. We're going to have four laps to go. Is there anybody at the back staying out? Justin Haley. He might have been the cause of the caution, too, though. But if not, Haley will restart on the front row also. Four to go. That could be a buffer we need. We're staying out. We got to take the lead here. And I really hope... Yeah, Justin Haley is the cause of the caution. So, he's out of the race. I really hope these guys didn't take tires. Now, this is what happened last year. And we won. Oh, it kind of spun the tires there. I had to lift a little. We still got a better launch than Kyle Busch. So, for four laps, can we hold on... I think we're a little faster than these guys, but if they have fresh tires, they're just going to eat us alive. I felt like that was the last chance we had to win. But we can make it on fuel now. Oh, okay. We should. We're going to be close. Yeah, they did not take tires because we're pulling away. They're three wide for about third. Kyle Bush still in second. Three to go. We are very close on fuel. I mean, I'm talking like we might be sputtering coming off of turn four coming to the check your flag but if we can have enough of a gap we should be fine that right front tire better make it too that's another thing that right front's wearing out quite a bit there's two more laps come on Keegan two more just trying to survive I'm pushing hard I'm not backing off right now pushing hard One lap to go. Thank goodness we're not going to overtime. All right. Come on. Caution wants to come out. That'll be great. Pushing hard, pushing hard, pushing hard. Push, 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 push. That right front. It's going to get close. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm coasting it. Coast it through three and four. Oh, it's sputtering. Oh, no. 
No, we're out of gas. Oh, we're gonna barely make it. Yes, yes. Second win of the season. Fifth win of our career on fumes. I mean, we were sputtering halfway through three and four. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Just backed it into the wall. Let's burn it down. They put more fuel back in the car so I can do the burnouts. Oh man, that was close. I only saved through like that last half a lap. If we didn't save that, uh, it wouldn't have mattered much. It wasn't much we saved, but man, Bush was coming. Bush was coming, but we barely got to the line in time. That's awesome. Second win of the year. Dover might be our best racetrack because we have two career wins and three races here. Both on fuel mileage. <laughs> oh my goodness, great call. We won a stage today too. What a what a great points day. I think we just scored 51 points. That's probably the most points we've ever scored in a single race. And we're up to eighth, guys. We're eighth in points. Second win. We got 12 playoff points now, more than what we had all last season. And we still got 15 races before the playoffs. That's awesome. Two wins. Awesome. We go to another short track. That is four straight top tens. By the way, we had that 10% speed boost coming into this race too, and I think that helped us a ton. Look at that. Look at that. For the second time this season, we found victory lane. Moderate driving. Not that that's going to matter too much, but we will be using this car for the Coke 600. We get our incentive payout, which we would have had before. I wish we could have started another one there because we just won the race, but I guess that's just not how that works with this game, unfortunately. All right. Four races, four top 15s. We got Martinsville, which I think we'll run good at. Charlotte and. Man, our mile and a half isn't that great, though. We didn't run too hot at Kansas last year, but Michigan we won on luck. <laughs> um, hmm. We definitely get, I mean, we might as well just go for top 15s. We're streaking right now. Let's just keep the streak alive. We still got that momentum boost. All right. Oh, no, we're going to put her here. So we got to use this short track chassis. How about that? I'm pumped. I mean, we just got another win, and that gets us so close to. We need 4.9 million. I think a couple more races we could have that fourth car. We're scratching and clawing for wins. I mean, it was another strategy win, but we did have a top five car, so. You know, we did what we needed to do. We put ourselves in position to win the race. And let's go to Martinsville. Let's try to make it back-to-back. -back. We got four straight top sevens. It de definitely the best streak of my career. It was only season two, but... Again, if we win the championship, it's only season we have to run. Problem is, though, we have not shown any speed at Phoenix the three races I've ran there in my career. And... That's the championship race, so we need to get the short track chassis a little bit better. It's good, but it's it's not great. So we got 92 for the engine power for this race, so not going to be as fast of a car as we had at Dover. I know it's a different chassis, but still, 
still kind of beat up this is our bristol and richmond car we did have two top tens though we had a win and we had a seventh place finish in those races so definitely not impossible i'm gonna loosen this up a little bit for qualifying hopefully it's not gonna be too bad but try to maybe help us on our qualifying lap and then we start the race i might tighten it back up again i don't know we'll see how it is qualifying we just don't have that straightaway speed. We don't have the launch off of turn four yet. I don't know how fast the engine's got to be for that to be the case, but we're going to have a faster car than what we did last time we were here, though, so. And we finished second, so. We also got bailed out with a caution, too. Twenty point four three two, twenty third in qualifying, so not too great, but We'll see. We'll see how this might go. Guess you never know. Got Keselowski on the pole. It is Martinsville night racing. And for some reason, for some reason. Yeah, I'll just keep the same setup. And if we have to tighten it up, we'll tighten it up. But anyway, what I was going to say, for some reason on this game, there is no lights. I mean, there is lights at... Martinsville they're just not turned on like why is this not a night race this should be this is the night race at Martinsville the inaugural night race and the game does not have lights here it's kind of like they that uh, glitch they have with Homestead on this game too because Homestead for the Cup Series was a day race this year and it's really dark but there's no lights on that's like their version of it being daytime it's like uh, it's pretty dark they should probably have the lights on but I shouldn't even come to that predicament. Anyway, I'm done with my little rant there, so not really much of a rant, but you guys get the point. All right, Martinsville, 16 laps. Yeah, I knew everybody was going to check up going into the first turn there. Let's go to the outside. My car's too tight early in the run. Get around Corey LaJoy. I'm going to slide under there as well. I'd like to get back down to the bottom. Please and thank you. Yeah, I'll just let Bowman go and try to cross him over. Ah, <laughs> little rub and run. We're eighth in points, guys. I still can't believe that. I'm blaming it. These guys just take off down the straightaways. Ugh. Jimmy checked up behind Bell and I ran into Jimmy. That really hurt my speed off the exit of that corner. I know I'm being aggressive. But if you're going to be aggressive, you better win the race. And that's what I'm trying to put myself in position to. Because the stages are not long. 16 laps at Martinsville is not a lot of time. I'm like 21st, 20th at best right now. So the car will get faster on the longer run. But might need some help along the way. Oh, man, I barely cleared. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. What just happened there? Oh, my heavens. Well, that wasn't pretty. I, uh, so I barely cleared Jimmy. I put myself in the wall. And I, after I put myself in the wall, I saw Suarez coming. So I was going to try to pull down and block him. And uh, he was already there. And I tried to move out of the way. I just put it back in the wall again. I hit it head on. I don't know how I didn't DNF again. We still haven't DNF'd yet this year. This is the 12th race. But yeah, that, uh, that wasn't pretty. We'll top off on fuel. We'll put four fresh tires back on it. But we cannot repair that damage under our five second damage clock. So. Uh, we, we're going to be lucky to make it to the end of the race. We still got a lot of laps left. It's still stage one. Uh, green flag. Man, this stinks. Problem is, we have to gain as many positions as we can. And yeah, look at that engine is severely damaged. Front bumpers severely damaged. Even on fresh tires. I really got to be able to clear the 39th place car there. 
Yeah, we just wrecked a ton of speed out of it. That might end our top 10 streak. I really hope we keep this 10% momentum boost up. I don't think we can. We need to finish top 14 to, or top 15 in the next four races to get that incentive bonus. We might not even do it here. I mean, we finished second, and that's why I was thinking. Okay, but I guess we were just racing a little too aggressively too early. And now even given fresher tires for the second half of a stage and we're still not fast at all we definitely wrecked a lot of speed out of it but we do have half the race to go over half the race to go so we'll see definitely not going to score any stage points anymore in this stage oh well, we might have had a shot there but guess not I don't think you're gonna see these guys pit under the stage break, so if they don't, I will. Then we'll have a full stage, fresh, fresher tires. Maybe that could get me into the top 10 and get some stage points, I don't know. We, it's hard telling the way this car's so beat up. We can add more tape on it though, I mean, I'll probably add about 10% more tape. The radiator's not damaged, so that's why the, uh, the temperatures are still staying down for the most part. Drive right around Michael McDowell. And he checks off to a rough start in this one. Hopefully he still finishes top 20, so he, or top 30, so he can make the playoffs after he won the Daytona 500. Bubba Wallace won in Atlanta too, so maybe more of the same could happen there. Well, that's the end of stage one. 35th. Man, that that's a bummer. It's going to be uh, a rough go at it here. 50 laps. Yeah, we'll top off again. Looks like Quentin Halp's going to take fresh tires, too. Good call, Quinn. He's going to give us the inside. We beat him off of pit road, so... Hit restarting in the center of the corner like that. So weird trying to get through the shifts. It starts you in first. Oh, whoa, man, they checked up and I tried to go under them and I, that curbing about spun me out. I don't know how I saved it, honestly. Okay, so we picked up a little bit of speed with these fresh tires, but if I could have done this with a clean race car, it would have been so much better. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to go back to back today. And I don't know if we're going to be able to keep this top 10 streak alive. But we might be able to keep the streak alive of not DNFing this season. So we got that going for us. Oh, man, I barely cleared him. Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to pass around the outside. Not the best move when you don't have a lot of speed in the race car. And that's the problem too. Whatever spots we're gaining here, if we don't get any stage points, it's basically going to be a loss. Yes, we gained the track position back, but the, the real problem in the scenario will be that final stage because everybody will be on fresh tires again. And for my sake, it's just not going to work out. I mean, you can see how much ground we're starting to gain back again. I just don't see us getting to the top 10. We only got eight laps. We're still outside the top 20. Man, oh man. Man, whoo. 
Sorry for that, man. I felt my allergies kicking in, and uh, <coughs> oh my goodness, I am really sorry for that. But wow, that's not gonna get cut out. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna. What the heck is going on with him? Yeah, my allergies. Uh, I felt that. Let me get Bubba Wallace out of the way here. There we go. Get right around him. We're going to be lucky to get in the top 20. Or 30. About 30 lap pressure tires. We are still not a top 20 car with our damage. Rub and run on Ricky. All right, I guess we're gonna get top 20 in this stage. So got three to go. A little bump and run there on Justin Haley. 19th. We're in the teens. So unfortunate. What a tale of two races on this video. We'll rub and run on Cole Custer. Oh, I did. I that I did not mean to do. I'm really sorry about that, Kevin. You did not deserve that. I don't need any more damage. I don't even know if the front of the race car is going to make it that long. I'm gonna get around him though. 17th in stage two. Better what I thought it was gonna be, but I mean we're gonna be hanging on for dear life the rest of this one. Keselowski's dominating. Drew X is in the top five again. My gosh. Drew X so overpowering on this season. And 10% more tape. Try to help it there. And we'll take fresh tires. So we lost three spots on pit road. I highly doubt that throwing tape on the car costs us that much, but. Get to the inside, get to the inside. Oh man, everybody's checking up again. I knew I didn't have much time to get down there because they were gonna check up, but well, we gained one spot on the restart. Despite race starting on the top and with a much slower car. So I'm trying not to break as much, but these guys just pull me down the straightaways. I'm going to hope that we can hold on for as many positions as possible. We're going to have to block. I mean, that's the only way we're going to get a decent finish in this race is if we block. Because I guarantee you, the start of this run, uh, we probably have a 30th place car at best, so... And that's even a little generous, I feel like. And they're three wide back there. <laughs> they're just scrambling around. I'm holding everybody up. If I will this car to a top 10 and keep that top 10 streak alive, I don't even know. I don't know what would take us out at that point. I don't think we're going to run that great at Charlotte. I think the fact that Charlotte is four stages instead of two is going to actually kind of hurt us. Oh, man, I just got... Split three wide there. Can we get him back? I tried. I tried. We only lost one spot. Send it, send it, send it. Using them up a little bit. No, oh, I left the bottom open because of it. We'll get him back. That's not what I meant to do.
Kind of damaging the front of the car a little bit more. Oh man, I got loose there. <laughs> Holding these guys up. Oh, like, why is he driving like such a dick? This is not what he does. Oh, Haley got loose, and then I dri <laughs> was gonna drive it into Jones. Jones checked up because Haley got loose. Caution. Uh, for Martin Truex Jr. Oh my goodness. Well, at least he's pitting, so I'm assuming he brought the caution out. Yeah, we gotta keep our track position tires. Not gonna do that much. I'm surprised we got a lot of guys on the lead lap still. I'm surprised over the first two stages we haven't had many guys go lap down. All right, we're starting on the top side again. And again, I'll drop to the bottom. Oh, man. I barely gave Austin Dillon enough room to squeeze in there. Oh, that curving got me really loose. Hold on to it. Got to use an Austin Dillon as my brakes a little bit there. I want to stay with them. We're fighting and scratching Klon for every race we could get. We're going to have a lot of ticked off drivers at the end of this one, but... I've got the best streak of my career going. I'm fighting for it. All right. We're going to let Austin Dillon go now. He's too far ahead of us. Car slowly getting better on the longer run still, but again with this damage, it's really not going to get much better than what it is now. And even if we stay green to the end, I don't think we're going to catch lap cars, so. Maybe there's a huge pile up in front of us that we gain like five to ten positions on and we get a restart from there. We might get a top ten finish, but that would be about it. I'm surprised that even with this much tape on the car, we're still running somewhat lower temperatures. Would have added like 15 or 20 percent more tape under that caution if I would have known that. Oh! Yeah, he kind of got me back. I deserved it. We'll get him back. Maybe. <laughs> Driving like a douchebag this race. I know I am. You guys might not like it. I I don't know what to think. I usually race clean. Oh, oh, everybody's scrambling in here. Somebody's got a problem. There's no caution. Oh, it's Newman. Oh, that's another spot. Where's the caution? NASCAR, throw the caution. I mean, he was wrecked. He was in the wall. He came back down into me. I'm glad I checked up, otherwise I probably would have DNF'd if I hit him any harder. All the damage to the front of the car already, plus wearing it out on these other guys. My goodness. At least that only gives us one car to block now. That basically locks us with the top 20. We're slowly pulling away from Justin Haley. He's getting us back on the straightaways, but we are definitely passing through the corners on him now. We still got 12 to go. We might get a top 15 still. Remember, top 15 to keep the incentive bonus alive. I kind of forgot about that over the course of the race because I'm more worried about trying to get a top 10, but I guess at minimum we need to get a top 15. I will race aggressively to keep this top 10 streak alive. This will be the second time in this five race stretch if I do get a top 10 in this one to keep the streak alive that we have willed a wrecked race car basically to a top 10. Talladega, we had a lot of help from Brendan Gaughan pushing us those last four laps, but. Fast slap of the race after using a couple guys as my turns. <laughs> Three corners in a row now.
Well, we're in the top 15. We're up to 14th. I'm surprised this car's got as much speed as we do right now. Eight to go. We are willing, like absolutely willing this race car. That was a clean pass that time on Bell. We're up to 13th. We might get a top 10 still. Where is the speed coming from? Second half of the run. Can we get another caution? Uh, we should have had one with Ryan Newman there. I think that would have given us more of a shot at getting a top 10. I think it does. If we get a caution before the end of this race, that'll be a better shot at getting a top 10. As you guys know, I'm going to be aggressive. I've been aggressive this whole race. Before our accident and especially after it. I'm trying to scratch it, claw. We got a lot of lap traffic up here probably holding guys up too. I didn't think we were going to catch lap traffic ourselves, but we just might do that with six to go. It's going to be close. Five to go. It's going to be close to keep this top ten streak alive. Quinn Huff kind of holding everybody up here. Driving in deep on Kurt Busch. Low rub and run. Up to 12. Four to go. Sorry, Dibby. Coming through. Oh! Contact with Reddick there, too. I slammed him pretty hard, too. Reddick, that is. Oh, we got a top 10, guys. We've got a top 10. We're up to ninth. Michael, move. Move, Michael. We're up to eighth. Two to go. Man, if we got a caution. Well, we'd restart on the top, so I guess let's hope it stays green. This is incredible. We're going to get five straight top tens. This one, this time, is going to be with a wrecked race car. Boyer's struggling right now. He cannot get around Chastain to save his life. Going around the top side. I don't think that's a great idea. Yeah, stay in. Stay down there. Up to seventh. Driving in deep. Yeah, that didn't do much. Seventh place for the fifth time in a row. Seventh or better, five races in a row. Let's go. That was some super aggressive driving. Definitely not smooth. Kyle Busch wins. I think that's his second win of the year. Get more money. We're still eighth in points. Wow. What a day. What a day. We're 100 and 125 back from Truex. But hey, I mean, we are doing absolutely everything we can right now to do what we can to get this win. And in the end, that could be all that matters. Ryan Newman, 19.627. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up another career mode video on the channel. Subscribe for more daily NASCAR content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.